So, Minecraft 117 is just around the corner and with it, a slew of wonderful new blocks. I know not everyone geeks out about blocks and in fact, for most people, blocks may just fade into the long list of changes that may come with the 117 update. But I believe the added blocks are going to make all of us better builders and if you, may, if you ask me why, well, my answer is Gradients. Hi, it's Mr. Passion here and today let's learn to build better in 117 with Gradients. What you see aligned here is a gradient of blocks from black to white, mostly composed of the grey block textures in varying shades, with the addition of the new blocks on both ends of the spectrum. It wouldn't be much of a building showcase without building, would it? First step to doing that is finding inspiration. And because we are dealing with gradients, I decided to go for this tower design that I found after a quick Google search. Second step is deciding basically where we want the tower placed. And after a little bit of pondering in this world, I settled on building it on this hill overlooking a forest. Third step is terraforming. That is molding the environment to suit the structure and in this case clearing out the trees and flattening the land. A good rule of thumb is to always work with odd numbers especially if you want your builds to have perfect centers. And in this particular tower I'm going to go for a 9 by 9 setup. For our tower I'm going to split the building process into three phases. The first will be the dark tones, second the mid tones and third the light tones. It's pretty straightforward isn't it? Deep Slate is one of the new blocks that have been added in 1.17. It has a couple of variations, however, combined with Blackstone, it conveniently acts as that dark grey texture that's been missing from the game. With those two blocks, I'm given the luxury of having smoother transitions in the dark tones phase of the build. Moving to the mid tones section, I am basically going to play around with the available stone textures, combining stone brick, cobblestone and underside. For the top part of our tower, I'll go back to our inspiration for a bit of reference. And we see in the inspiration image there is a balcony. It kind of just sections off the top of the tower from the rest of the build. Calcite made actually. Now tackling the light phase of the build, I'm using calcite and snow blocks with diorite acting as the bridge between the dark grey tones to the light phase. To crown my tower, I'll go with a block that is new but doesn't fit in the gradient <laughs> per se. For the roofs, I'm going to use copper. The warm tones of the copper do make for an interesting roof, providing much needed color. At this point, I'd like to take an aspect of the original inspiration and add my own spin to it. In this case, I'd like to use the small room concept and add points of interest throughout the tower. Starting from the bottom, I added one corner tower and another middle tower on the right side wall. For each, I quickly transitioned the gradient to bring the light colored blocks uh, down to the bottom just to add some shade of contrast. I then add another room to the top level to complete the appeal. With that the stage is set but before moving on I'd really appreciate a like and a sub if you are enjoying this video so far. Making these is so much fun but takes a lot of time and therefore a comment as feedback would also be great too. The last step is the interior and the detail. To tie the whole thing together I needed one consistent block throughout the entire entirety of the tower. So I decided to use basalt pillars and added these to the corners of the tower. At the bottom of the tower I added black stone, a black concrete powder to make the base look a bit thicker. I then added window spaces since I mean all towers have windows, right? For the interior a sense of internal structure is important. So I added stripped spruce to create pillars and beams running through the entire height of the tower. I used spruce and oak planks on the floor and added storage and an enchanting setup in the corner tower. Moving up I decided to use stairs, then I transitioned to ladders, then I transitioned to vines. I figured out I put my bedroom at the top and make it as cozy as possible. I'd say this is a job well done and I guess it's pretty much time for me to sign out but it's been your boy Mr. Passion and until next time bye for now. Be sure to check out the video on the end screen and thanks for watching.